How you doing? This is George Sender, the guy from Pittsburgh, where there's an update on the Colorado Springs shooting incident. Police have detained a suspect and after a shooting and standoff at a Planned Parenthood clinic in that town that spanned five hours, the suspect, a man, was detained about 4.50 p.m. local time. The Colorado Springs Mayor's Office confirmed on Twitter the suspect was in custody, he was being seen escorted in handcuffs by police out of the clinic. The shooting injured at least nine people, including four police officers, after he walked into the Colorado Springs branch of Planned Parenthood Friday and began shooting. Uh, police then entered into a hostage situation. Um, and a standoff with the shooter. They used an armed vehicle to evacuate those trapped inside the building. Officers are still working through the process, said Colorado Springs Police Lieutenant Catherine Buckley at a 4 o'clock news conference. By 4.15, six people in the incident were, have been transported to Penrose Hospital in Colorado Springs, according to a hospital spokeswoman. All the patients brought to the hospital are alive. Said hospital spokesman Andrea Sinclair, she not least any details about the patient's condition or whether they're police officers or civilians. Three more victims were taken to Memorial Hospital, according to a spokesman there. Uh, an armored SWAT truck was seen evacuating two dozen people from the clinic in one run. First responders unloaded an injured person onto a gurney in two more runs. They wrapped blankets and others... They wrapped people in blankets and others wearing hospital scrubs walked out of the truck and into waiting patrol cars or ambulances and drove away from the scene. A line of a dozen ambulances waited there. At 2.15, the police reported first on Twitter that officers were encountering gunfire from a suspect inside the Planned Parenthood building and they sporadically exchanged shots with the gun, gunman after that. He made no demands or any statements to officers. Initial reports said his weapon was a long gun, such as a rifle. He also carried items in the clinic. Authorities don't know what they were yet. There was a propane tank at the clinic, but they don't know if he brought that to the clinic as well. And man says his sister was inside the Planned Parenthood clinic and he was worried about her. So that's all the details we have right now. SWAT officers ran it round rounded up area in the building, kept them in one office, guarding them for protection. And uh, they finally caught this guy. So that's the end of this story as far as uh, anyone knows. If I'll have more details, I'll bring them to you. All right, have a great day. Bye-bye.